Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you have met your special person, okay? So, um, I truly believe that everyone that comes into your life does so with a purpose and for a purpose. So, they're either a blessing or a lesson. We want to know what is the reason behind your connection with your special person. It is going to be a general reading, but I'm sure you're all aware of it. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email will be list listed below where the show more section is, just under this video here. Okay guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and let's see why is it that you've met your special person. Okay, so focus on the energy. Pause this reading if you have to. Okay, now for some of you, I can see that you might have met this person uh, on your travels whilst you were traveling overseas, whether for work or leisure purposes. This person may have been uh, like on a working or a travel visa in your country here. Um, you might have also connected with this person online as well, from what I can tell. Or it feels like maybe they were born from like a different country so they stem from a different cultural background to yourself they may have an accent or just someone who grew up and was born or was born to parents from a foreign country here I feel like this is a very special type of a connection and I can see that this person was destined to enter your life here for some of you it does feel like this is an energy whom you're possibly going to end up marrying and settling down with one day okay because i can see that this person is going to play a very big and instrumental role in your next chapter and your next cycle some of you have gone through a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of hardships with this person here you've learned a lot of lessons or there may still be a lot of lessons that come from this connection for you to learn here but to me, it feels like be proud of what you've achieved because it does feel like you will be reaping the rewards. So learning the lessons, the spiritual enlightenment, um, enlightenment, sorry, the awareness that comes with it all here. The world card represents a new world possibly opening up to you, a new chapter, a new beginning, um, a new, you know, a new cycle here. All these opportunities that will be made available to you. The world also can represent the completion of a challenge here that the two of you have gone through. Um, and it's going, it signifies a point in which you've either reached a point or you will reach a point where you will be really happy. Okay, You will be in a very good place and you will be very happy with um, just the way that everything unfolded and fell into place here. And it's important for you to savor that moment because I can tell in your energies that you have worked extremely hard to get to where it is here. So it, it's like a, it's to me the world card alongside Ace of Pentacles signifies that you will reach a point in this connection where um, it's a point that you've been trying to aspire to as well. So for some of you, it's like getting married, getting engaged, having children, or just being in like a very happy, secure, loving, stable place. Like, you know, just this very committed place in your relationship. And this to me feels like there are two worlds colliding, yours and theirs, or there's a world here of opportunities that are opening up to you and your special person here. But to me, it feels like you have worked extremely hard to get to this stage. And if, if, not, if you aren't there yet, you're inching, very, you're inching a lot more closer than you were. And if you're already there, congratulations, well deserved here. 
Um, to me, the world card and the Ace of Pentacles can only mean good things for you romantically here. And, you know, it's being comfortable in a place and being really happy and open to the possibilities and the opportunities that the world and this connection is presenting you with. So, look, I feel like there was this person is both a blessing and a lesson because I feel like this person is meant to be, well, they are your destiny, okay? So, the universe here has orchestrated the, its meeting. The universe here has worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that your paths cross together, even though the two of you may, you know, come from... Um, hail from two very different uh, maybe cultural backgrounds or two very different countries there may be a, a long distance relationship that some of you doing some of you are doing some of you might have met online here um, so you know understand that it's definitely divine intervention orchestration here divine uh, pre-arrangement as well taking place um, I'm also seeing that there's a lot of a lot of lessons, a lot of tribulations, hardship, hardships, and a lot of challenges that you've been presented in this connection. Okay, now you may feel like they're kind of obstacles um, that are getting in your way here and preventing you and possibly hindering you from moving forward, but they're lessons. They're actually lessons and blessings in disguise because they're kind of like a test or a testament to this connection and the strength of this connection. And every obstacle. Um, or barrier that you're enduring it's strengthening you it's not weakening you. it's actually strengthening you as an in individual it's also strengthening tightening um, bringing the two of you closer together okay um, it's helping you grow it's helping you evolve sure it's pushing you outside of your comfort zone and sure it may feel really painful and uncomfortable at times but this is what it means to grow and evolve and you know to have different worlds open up to you now for some of you remember how i spoke about worlds opening up to you it could be that you are a lot more spiritually aware so there's a spiritual awareness or enlightenment and there's spiritual planes opening up to you because you have been enlightened because of all of this pain and hardship and struggle and suffering that you had to endure day of swords is actually a good sign in this instance it's release it's finding solutions it's a relief um taking control standing up to um you know your fears your insecurities facing your fears it's truth it's releasing anxiety it's it's healing it's mental strength it's a clear mind it's overcome overcoming obstacles so for a lot of you that's what lies ahead and this is great because it's so, sort of like signifies relieving pressure releasing anxiety or any fears that you've had it's standing up to um, any challenges and taking complete control it's also having a very clear mind here feeling really mentally strong empowered and very hopeful when this card appears it also tells us that you are ready for healing so to me it feels like um, there's quite a healing energy to this person or they have brought a lot of healing into your life or they will be doing so so it, it to me maybe there may have been some oppression or some pain in your life um, some fear and insecurity or anxiety along with which this person you know this person came along and entered your life and maybe they've shown a light onto some of these issues and they've helped you heal and work through some of these issues or will be doing so okay because I feel like there's this releasing of fear and anxiety um, something that you've been experiencing and it's finally you're able to release and let go of it here as well They are very emotionally uh, supportive energy as well. So a lot of healing energies I'm picking up with this reading. For those of you that are in a bit of a dark place with this person right now, no contact, no communication, the Five of Pentacles signifies there will be light at the end of the tunnel. So there is a resolution. It's just what approach the two of you will take in working towards a resolution. I do feel like things will get better. I do feel like the both of you as individuals and together uh, paired up together you have the strength and the resilience and the fortitude to overcome these obstacles that are being thrown your way so I feel like this the two of you have met because there is destiny 
at play here. I do feel like this person is going to play a very important role in your future and you will play a very important role in their future. So this has had to happen and it couldn't happen. It couldn't have happened any other way. And I feel like there was a multitude of reasons why the two of you have met. There's so much healing energies to this. And I feel like this person has brought out some emotional traumas or emotional triggers to the surface in which you can take a closer look at and work towards, you know, healing those pains or those emotional traumas here. Um, now with the Seven of Cups though, it just tells us to be very alert with the choices you make, okay? Because sometimes um, the choices that we make can be laced with fantasy and illusion. Um, so be very alert to the decisions that you're due to make or the, to the options that are available to you here. Okay, exercise caution here when you're making decision. As to me, it feels like, yes, there is some treasures and um, wonders that are available to you. But there are also monsters and shadows here that are being available um, in some of these choices. All right, and these are your messages. So thank you guys for watching, listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.